Hello everyone. So for today we are going to talk about healthy, helpful and hard work, a doctor's story from our book Lift Off. We are going to start with reading then answering some questions. So I'm going to read then you can answer with me the questions. I was looking forward to watching the match. I sat in a comfortable chair and turned the TV on. I didn't plan to move for the two hours. A minute later, I heard the phone ringing. I considered ignoring it, but I am a doctor. I had to answer in case it was an emergency. Yes, I said. I managed to sound polite. Hello, is that Dr. Terry Brown? My name is Jasim Al Mullah. I am from Saudi Arabia. I have just found your mobile. I heard it ringing and saw it lying on the ground. How do you know it's mine? I asked. Your name is in the address book. So is your number? Jasim replied. But my phone is here, I said. I have just finished speaking to my friend. Oh, Jasim said, I have made a mistake. No, wait, maybe it's my son's mobile. We talked about the phone and I asked Jasim to tell me about where he found it. An hour later, the phone rang again. Dad, the voice said, it was my son, Jack. Something strange has just happened. A young man came to my flat. He had my mobile. I didn't know it was missing. I thought it was in my pocket. Yes, I replied. That was Jasim. He found your mobile laying on the ground near a supermarket. He phoned me and then offered to take your mobile to your flat. He is very kind. Yes, he is, Jack said. I suggested giving him some money for his trouble, but Jasim refused to take anything. He said, I like helping people, and then he left. So it's talking about someone who's who found a phone mobile, then he tried to return it to his owner. So, what is the best title? A helpful stranger, a mobile phone, an important match, or Jasim Al Mullah? Of course, it's a helpful stranger because he helped Jack, either he didn't know him before. Now I want you to put the sentences in order. So we have number one, it's Jack lost his mobile. Number two, Terry switched on the TV. Three is the phone rang for the first time. Four, Jasim told Terry about the mobile. Five, Jack phoned Terry. Six, Jasim went to Jack's home. Jasim did not accept any money. So the new vocabulary we have considered, think carefully about something. Ignore, it's refuse, like saying no. Lie on something, like wrist flat on a surface. Manage, succeed, is in dealing with. Offer, present something for someone to accept or reject, like what the stranger do with Jack. Uh, no, the Jack, when he gave the money to the stranger, but he refused. So this is an offer. Stranger, it's a person whom one doesn't know. Like if you don't know someone, that means he's a stranger suggest put forward for consideration trouble problems spell the word consider excellent ignore perfect stranger trouble manage perfect now i want you to remember these many sentences have two verbs in them these sentences can have different grammar for example verb one then the word two then verb two want, wants, wanted, then to have a cake. So, if you are having verb one, then verb two, always verb two is the basic form of the verb. You don't add anything to, the, to it here because it's coming after two. But verb one, no, it's okay. You can add is or ed according to the tense of the sentence, okay? But verb two, it's the basic form always. B, we have verb one, verb two, then ing. For example, verb one, always, you can do like according to the sentence tense, 
can add s or ed then watching tv so here we have two verbs following each other the first one and the second one but the second one you have to add ing then we have verb one plus noun plus verb two plus ing for example c sees so a bird flying so in case if you are going to put two verbs together the first one you can put in the middle to the verb to after the word to it's going to be the basic form the second choice two verbs with ing the second one the last one you can have verb then noun then the second verb with ing okay now I want you to say the sentences using the words in the pictures for example number one this is a good program won't watch program TV so the answer is Jack wanted to watch a film on TV see so we have two verbs the, the but between them there is two then the basic form of the verb the second one here knock on door Jack heard someone knocking on the door see so we have verb then the verb two is with an ing Jack saw a man standing there so here we have two verbs so and standing and in the middle of them we have noun a man find mobile lie on ground so Jason found Jack's mobile laying on the ground we have two verbs the first one then the second one with ing and in the middle there is a noun five Jack asked Jason to come into the flat so we have two verbs we have asked then to then come the second verb which is the basic form six Jasmine refused to accept money from Jack so we have two verbs between them the word is to so for today we learned about reading differentiate between verb one verb two with ing verb with two verb then describe an event new vocabulary the difference between past simple present simple and past participle thank you for listening